Hi and welcome. Um, this morning I'm going to take you on a little tour of Facebook's new timeline for business pages which is going to be rolling out um, from the 30th of March 2012. Um, this is going to involve some big changes for pages. A lot of people are not going to be happy. Um, the landing page option is gone so that is a big thing for a lot of pages and your profile pics um, have changed in size there's a lot of benefits as well so I'm going to go through um, some of the new features and some of the things that aren't there anymore so that you can um, see for yourself okay so I'm using the Mamatopia page which is my local business and um, as you can see here this is the new profile pic it is square you can do it to a maximum of 180 by 180 pixels so um, obviously I'm going to have to resize my profile image so that it all fits nice and neatly in there and I'll probably add my web address in there as well because as you can see just underneath it's got my contact details which is great but my web address is hidden unless I click on the about tab so I'm going to go ahead and click on there um, and then you can see my web address now I'm really disappointed that the web address doesn't sit right up the top um, however you know that may change you never know um, with Facebook so one of the good things though is that you can use this whole space to fill it out about your business um, I've only used minimal space because this was just sitting on the side of the tab um, however now I'm going to fill that out with some more detail and use some nice rich keywords for good SEO okay so let's go back to the main area so now the biggest change is that no longer will we have um, landing tabs um, basically your wall is going to be or your timeline will be your landing tab um, you'll have you'll be able to put a nice cover image up here and you'll be able to do some extra things which I'll show you in just a moment with the cover image Facebook are actually really being strict about what you can put in your cover image. They're saying no coupons, no ads, no call to actions, nothing that sounds like an ad, looks like an ad or smells like an ad. They want you to use images that reflect your business and minimal text. So in keeping with this, I have just used some images from my business, some beautiful images from our last mum's retreat and also from a birth I recently attended, um, all with people's permission of course, and just put a tagline, this is Mumatopia. So you can have a read about um, the restrictions on the timeline cover images on my blog. Um, I'll be posting that up today on the 1st of March. Okay, let's have a look at this area here. Right up the top here, you've got your photos tab. That is going to stay. Unfortunately, that strip of photos that we had across the top is now gone. You're going to have to rethink how you do your um, strip across here. One of the cool things, though, is that you can actually edit these tabs to add an image into here, which I will do later today. Okay, so if you click on there, you can see I've got extra tabs underneath. Now these are all large. One of the, one of the things I used, used to bug me about the side wall is that the icons were so tiny you couldn't see them. Whereas now you'll be able to add an image in here and use that as a call to action. Um, so And you can also switch places. So for instance, there's some things which you can't switch places, switch places with. So if I want to swap um, places with for instance, the Mum's Retreat one from my YouTube video, I can do that if I want to. Um, and I can move all these around. And I can make some of them in, like if I've got tabs that are no longer relevant, I can actually um, get rid of those altogether from my timeline. So that's a nice feature. Okay. So one thing that I really like is the admin panel. So I'm going to click, go ahead and click on that. taking a moment you get real-time insights real time so you don't have to wait a week to get information about what's happening on your page you can get information about what's happening on happening on your page right now you get to see who's been liking you most recently so you can um, thank them if they're friends of yours um, and you can see who's been interacting on your page quite easily. So it means that you're not having to click through to a different page in order to 
look at what's happening on your page um, statistically and also in terms of people's interactions. Plus there's a new message feature so if people message you that will show up in this little box here. Um, these buttons up the top here that basically takes you through to um, your edit function. The build audience is to invite friends and share your page and the help is obviously to go and get help and find information about how to use your page. So if you don't want to show that, you can hide it here. Basically, you only see the admin panel, nobody else sees it, so it's only the admins that see that. Your um, people on your page won't see that. So scrolling down, one thing I really like is that my posts are a lot more visible. So um, with the support of what page, we get a lot of people posting on our wall because um, they want us to shout them out. And so Oftentimes I find that the information I post gets a bit lost. What's so cool about this is that I can actually pin really important posts at the top. Um, so let's go and have a look and see if we can do that. So I've got this thing here. Well I can highlight this if I want to but let's see if I can pin it. Pin to top. So this is an important post about the next mum's retreat that's coming up. We've got our early bird rate finishing at the end of this month so I want people to know about that so I can pin that so it sits up the top that is such a fantastic feature I love that okay so that means it stops you from having to repost everything 10 times a day not that you do but some people do um, and here on the right hand side you can see a summary of other people's posts on your page um, and you can go ahead and um, click on that and you can allow it, you can um, hide it, you can, if someone's spamming your page, you can make the default to be um, hidden from your page if you want to and, and then you have to approve it before someone's post shows up on your page. Um, I haven't quite figured out the whole hidden post thing with pages yet but when I do, I'll, I'll do a new, tell, I'll do a new cast, webcast about that as well. Um, and here you can see your like, your recent likes of people's pages from your page. Um, and you can highlight posts just like you can on your personal timeline. Um, so that gives you pretty much an overview of some of the changes. Oh, one thing I will show you. This is really cool. Um, I'm going to click on the Mums Retreat tab here. On what was previously the World Tabs, which we've 520 wide um, you can make them as long as you like but 520 wide was the width and as you can see that's just set to that width well now look at this you can make it about the same width as your cover image so this means that you have a lot more scope to use this space so even though you've not got the landing tabs you'll be able to use these app tabs um, to create messages and call to actions for your followers. So I think that this is a big change for a lot of people and it'll take some getting used to but once you see the benefits of it I think you're going to love it. Um, I, I do, I'm starting to warm to the idea <laughs> as much as it means a lot of changes in terms of design. Um, yeah, so make sure though if you're not doing your own design make sure you do speak to um, some graphic designers. There's some great graphic designers that uh, work at home parents who um, who offer services quite cheaply so um, if you need help and also um, we can also help with that as well. Okay so there you go that's your little tour. Now you can also just use this top tab to click on various things. You can see your other um, tabs in here as well when you click on that top bar and when you scroll up that bar should show up. No, not now. There it goes. When you scroll down, that little bar shows up in it. Um, you can click through to different time zones from the past on your page and you can look at the highlights. So there's lots and lots of little features and, and more will come to light um, in the next few days. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed your little tour and um, do let us know if you need any help setting up your fan pages. Okay, bye for now.